Hey guys, Omar here, broker and CEO of Alden Mortgage and Ome Realty. So one of the biggest questions we always have that comes up is, is when people are trying to form an LLC or they're like, hey, how does a single member work? Or, you know, how do you, how does a limited liability company and then the taxes associated with it, how does it work? So in this video, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and give you a brief explanation of the forms used in each one of them and what each one of them actually means. So for the first one, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and talk about a single member little limited liability company. Now, when you have a single member, if the LLC only has one member, and that's just like you yourself and, and you're trying to limit your liability as much as you can, the IRS will calculate the net income. So that is the amount, not the gross, the net that you actually take in for, uh, of the LLC form on the Schedule C. Now this is gonna be on your tax forms, on the individual's form of the 1040, and this will be used for your federal income tax purposes. Then what we have on the second part of it is going to be an LLC, which is taxed as a partnership. Now what is a partnership? That just means that you have at least two members and or above however you structure your, your partnership. So if an LLC has at least two members and is, and is classified as a partnership, it generally must file with a form that's called a 1065. The US return of partnership income and schedule K1, which is a form 1065, the information is reported on each partner's form 1040. So that just means that each person is just gonna have to file their income on their 1040, but it's going to be on the form 1065 on your schedule K1. And then what you have is an LLC that is taxed as a C Corp. Now you're probably asking like, why would you do a partnership and then you, or why would you have a C Corp or why would you have an S Corp? Well, the limited liability company just go ahead and limits your liability. But then for tax purposes, you will go ahead and follow what, whether you, uh, a partnership works well for you, a, a C Corp works well for you or an S Corp. So if you are an LLC that is being taxed as a C Corp, Okay, if the LLC is a C Corp, it should file form 1120, which is the US Corporation Income Tax Return Form. 1120 is there for, clash, for cash flow through items form 1040 from the corporate return. So then you'll have a return from your, uh, your C Corp and then you'll have your other taxes on your LLC. So it's just gonna kinda like work coincide with one another. Then what you have is an LLC that is taxed as an S corporation. If the LLC is an S corp, it should file form 1120S, US income tax return for an S corporation. Each of the owners reports their pro rata share of the corporate income credits and deductions on their schedule K1, which is going to be an 1120S. So this is kind of like a brief spark note of exactly how an LLC coincides with, you know, single member versus a partnership versus C Corp versus S Corp. What I personally like gives me the most tax breaks and, and is, is beneficial for me as a business owner is going to be an LLC taxes and S Corp. I feel for me personally that you have the most tax breaks on an S Corp filing an LLC ta being taxed as an S Corp. So just cause you have an LLC doesn't mean that your you know, tax purposes are gonna be great. You know, you'd have to file one of the above. Now you would go ahead and talk to your CPA to kind of help you out with, with getting navigating around that, seeing what works best for you. But hopefully this video helped you out a little bit. And if it did, Go ahead and let that like, subscribe, comment, hit that little ring bell notification thing so you get updated whenever we go ahead and upload again. And for up to 50% commission rebate on your next home purchase, 0% listing on selling your current home or any mortgaging assistant, link in the description below. Single member LLC, LLC tax as a partnership, LLC tax as a C Corp, LLC tax as an S Corp. Hopefully it helped you out. Till next video, guys.